Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing very well. Just adjusting the lighting there. Now today we're here to talk about whether you should purchase the Quest 3 when it comes out because there is one very huge, massive problem that a lot of people are not talking about which is currently existent in the Quest 2. Now let's be honest, especially for those who come from the PC VR world, will tell you that basically the issue is that the, the graphics the, first of all, the textures, a lot of the textures in the Quest 2, I believe, similarly to the Pico 4, are very unpolished, very unfinished. And then also there's quite a few jagged edges in a lot of the different games and also a lot of flickering going around, which can, you know, be quite problematic in terms of, well, what are the developers doing? Who should be policing all this kind of stuff? Because at the end of the day, shouldn't the developer, shouldn't the, the meta or Pico, or whoever is, you know, the, the development of the actual, um, you know, the actual store should be policing, they should be making sure that all the developers, right, at the end of the day, even though they create amazing, fantastic VR experiences, we need to be working together collectively as a, an industry, as a family industry, if you put it, if you wish, so that we can make sure that everybody has a really good experience in VR, but not just that, that we make use of the technology that's available to its optimum self. Because what is the point? What is the point of upgrading of all this investment in the industry if at the end of the day there is no one to police the, you know, the apps or, or, or the way for people to... to, to, to to revisit the content that they already built and just press a few buttons if you wish on some of the games just to make them graphically better or to polish them to spend a week spend a month spend some time some resources some money if possible especially if they're a huge mega kind of studio to you know just look at all this kind of stuff and make sure that they're good because at the moment if i'm to just change camera the game that at the moment has really, really set the bar for everything, I have to admit, is Red Matter 2 by Vertical Robot. These guys, at the end of the day, I don't know why it's um, filming so slow for some reason, but Red Matter 2 has created a VR experience that has really, really good graphics, we know how far the Quest 2 can be pushed. So what is the point if the Quest 3 comes out and at the end of the day, the graphics are going to be the same as, let's say, the Quest 1? What is the point? Something needs to be done there. The Meta need to put pressure on developers, on studios, and say, look, if you don't spice up, spruce up, or do the house cleaning in your app, then please, we will have to remove it from the App Store and put it, let's say, in App Lab or put it in SideQuest, demote it because that is a big, big problem. Now, the other issue, of course, is that while that's going to be happening, we also know that there's going to be tons of new games available coming out very soon. Let me just press the button again to change the camera. There we go. We know that, and let me just uh, change again so you can see the full screen of the actual TV. There's a lot of different games coming out, and these games might actually put the old games to shame. That means that these new games should be developed for the Quest 3's chip, which will be the Generation 2 XR2. And all the old games will still be on Quest 1 level because a lot of them are, to be honest with you, they haven't really been, you know, changed or spiced up or spruced up or whatever you want to call it, to be at a Quest 3 level today. It's still very much, you know, at the end of the day, the quality is just not there. So I really, really want to appeal. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that at the end of the day, there should be some policies going on at Meta, for example, who are releasing a brand new headset with brand new technology, which is bringing it at the forefront of whatever VR is going to be at that time, minus, let's say, Vision Pro, because it's a whole kettle, a different kettle of fish. 
But in terms of standalone gaming VR device, then the experiences in the MetaQuest 3 should be goddamn amazing. I mean, the Pico, the Pico 4, for example, is an amazing device and it should be also providing experiences which are amazing. But they're not. A lot of the games are crap. A lot of the games have very poor visibility, very poor graphics, a lot of flickering, a lot of jagged edges, a lot of textures which are, quite frankly, very plain, very boring to look at compared to PC VR. I mean, PC VR, you just can't compare it. It's such a level that is wow, that it really puts the shame standalone. And I think that the debate about whether you should go standalone PC VR is, is a very real one and it's a very honest one because it is true that other than very simple games which don't require a lot of computing power, okay, fine, they're great to play with, like Walkabout Minigolf. It's an amazing piece of art, amazing piece of art. Synth Riders, amazing piece of art. Beat Saber, amazing piece of art. You know, those kind of games are okay. But the moment you go into some games where the level of the graphics is just not there, then you should be, we should be asking ourselves, why are they there? Why are they not being updated? Why, why are they not to Quest 2 capability? Why? And what's the point of putting them on a Quest 3 if there's still going to be a Quest 1? So I just wanted to put this question out there, guys, and ask you your feedback. What do you think? Do you think this is something that's, nah, who cares? I just like what is there anyway. I'm not fussy. Or do you really feel, like me, that there should be some policying around where Meta Store or Pico Store put some pressure on you know, developers to say, look, Spice, get your act together, get your, clean your house, or we demote you, we put you on App Lab, or we put you on SideQuest. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Love to know what you guys think. I just think we should have this conversation because at the end of the day, we're all about trying to improve uh, VR and VR with all this multi-billion dollar investment, well, developers, I think, need to play their part too, right? Shouldn't they? I don't know. What do you guys think? Hope I don't get beaten up by this, but leave your comment below. Let's part of the conversation. Until next time, guys, lovely to see you. I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye.